Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Today we're working on Anatomy of a Mix number three. The song is I Remember by Drive-By Angels. Today we're working on acoustic guitars. So we'll give you all the tips and tricks of how we mix acoustic guitars and balance them in our mix. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment and ask any questions down below. I'll be glad to get back to all of you. If you dig it, please subscribe. We could use your support. Hit the like button if you like the video. And don't forget the notification bell so we can let you know when more videos like this are available. Thanks. Enjoy. So with the acoustics, I'm gonna to try to find a way to make them fit and thin them out a little bit. So let's pop up to there. So what's missing there was a little bit of a room. So let me deal with the last EQ and then uh, activate the room. Cool. Okay, so I'm just trying to f make the guitars be kind of flatter dynamically so they, they fit nice. All right, so we got our acoustic guitars in, and we're going to add some, some room to them, a little reverb, just to make them feel like they're in a room. It's nice to have them dry and be kind of in the front, but we don't want them to be...
it's this send C that I just turned down. That goes to a up and an 1176. And the 1176 gives it some mid-range bite, and I think that's that was too much for those guitars. So what I'm gonna do now is play it again, and I'm just gonna turn them up a little. So a general overview of what happened with the acoustic guitars. I assign them to their appropriate aux submaster outs. I auto align them to the drum overheads because they're kind of a rhythmic element. Sometimes that helps, sometimes it doesn't. It literally takes like 10 seconds to try it. So that worked in this session, so I kept it. Then once they were assigned to their output so I could hear them, I brought up the faders, panned them left and right, and I made a group. So then with one touch of those two faders on any one of them, I can keep the levels the same. Then I went looking for harsh frequencies to take out. So first thing I used was Oak Sound Smooth, which is great on vocals and also really great on acoustic guitars. Just dial up that knob, see what works for you. Number two, I used the Mog Magnum K, which is a great uh, single band, like a frequency dependent de-harsher, I say. It's got a mid-range threshold frequency, and most of, the, most of the trouble in an acoustic, and sometimes in a vocal, is in that 2K range. So I just work that till it sounds good. There's always a preset to start with, and then I add some of the air band. After that's done, I go to my default, my Pro-Q2, and I do my filtering out of any lows that aren't there and highs, and then I maybe will sweep around. Most of it's all taken care of. There might be something in the lower mids to take out. Then what I would do after that is I would put on either some type of compression like an LA-3A to sort of hold it in place, but gently. And in this case, I also used a pull tech to lift everything a little bit and give it some thump in the lower. 